What is up guys? My name is Brie and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use your MetaMask wallet to do things like trade coins on a decentralized platform like Uniswap or purchase NFTs from OpenSea. I know things in the crypto space move really quickly and there's a ton of things to learn. So first of all, what exactly is MetaMask and why do you need it? MetaMask is a software cryptocurrency wallet that allows you to interact with the Ethereum blockchain and any of the tokens on that chain like Ether. MetaMask allows users to interact with their Ethereum wallets so you can add funds, extract funds, trade them for other tokens as well. And you have a few choices with MetaMask. You can do that through their browser extension or through their iOS or Android app. Once you have your MetaMask wallet set up, you can use this to connect to various DeFi applications on the internet. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the process with the Chrome browser extension. So let me grab my computer and we'll get started. All right, so of course the first step in setting up your MetaMask wallet is to download the MetaMask app for iPhone or Android or the Google Chrome extension. So to do that, you can go to metamask.io and click on the download button and you can choose which option you wanna go with. So here we have Chrome, iOS, or Android. The process is very similar for the other versions as well, but since I can do this all on my computer, it makes it a bit easier for me. And this is what I personally use. So once you've chosen that, you can click to install and that will bring you to the Chrome Web Store version of MetaMask. And instead of, because I already have this, it says to remove from Chrome, but obviously if you don't have it yet, you click there and you download and install that extension into your Chrome browser. At this point, you're gonna be following the prompts to create a new account. So among these steps, you'll be generating a password, which is what you'll use normally to open up the MetaMask wallet from your browser. So once it's downloaded, MetaMask shows up up here in my Chrome extensions. Of course, if that's not showing up here, you can click on the extensions button and just choose to pin it if you want it to show up here. And so once I click on that, my wallet here will pop up. So on the daily, I'll be using my password to get into my wallet. But also when you're setting up, you'll be prompted to create a 12 word secret recovery phrase as a backup. Now your secret recovery phrase can be used to restore your account and secret keys. Even if say you lose your computer, you lose your access or you lose your password. So you'll be given these 12 words and you'll have to go through to make sure you know them and you'll write them down somewhere. So once you've written this down, you wanna store your secret recovery phrase in a safe place and never share it with anyone. Because if somebody knows your secret recovery phrase, they can access your secret keys, which means they can steal your coins. So do not put this somewhere where other people are going to find it. The best thing is to write this down and hide it somewhere safe. This isn't like regular web 2.0 type passwords where if you forget it, you can simply go through the process of recovering a password. If you lose it, it's gone. If anybody else gets that password, your coins could be gone. So once you have created your password and your recovery phrase, you are inside your MetaMask account, your MetaMask wallet. So first things first, we need to create an account and name it. You can create multiple accounts or addresses within your MetaMask. You can use this for various purposes, but one thing is that anytime you make a transaction on chain, that is recorded on the blockchain. So by creating multiple addresses, you don't have all of your transactions pointing back to one place. You can use this to protect your privacy. So in order to create an account, if we have not already, we go up here to this circle button and we gonna go and create an account. So you can name that and create, and you can have multiple separate addresses in your MetaMask. You can see up here, I've just named mine Bree's MetaMask. And one thing I do want to highlight is that you can see here, I have my accounts and I can click to lock. Now, right now I have this open in full screen, but anytime I go click on this MetaMask icon in my dashboard, that's gonna bring up my MetaMask. So whenever you're done using your wallet, you do wanna click and relock it just so anybody who comes across your computer can't go in and access your coins. So if I wanna do that, I can click here and go to lock. And now this is what it shows. So now I have to enter in my password again in order to get back into my wallet. So this is of course your financial asset. So you do wanna be careful. You do wanna make sure you lock that whenever you're not using it. All right, so I've put in my password and I've unlocked my MetaMask. Now you can see I already have some funds in here, but you would be starting out with nothing. So how do you fund your MetaMask wallet with Ethereum? Now you can buy Ethereum or any coin or token that is part of the Ethereum blockchain. 
But of course, the big one, the most likely one that you are to start with is of course Ethereum. So you can buy directly within the MetaMask app. I haven't done this personally as I buy my coins on other exchanges. But in order to do that, you can simply click on buy and you can see they have buy ETH with wire or buy ETH with Transact. This says it's through a debit card or bank transfer. Now, depending on your country, depending on your bank, they might or might not allow that to work. I know here in Canada, it can be a pain in the ass to get your bank to allow you to use your debit card or a credit card in order to fund anything crypto related. So I personally use another exchange and then I transfer my ether over to my MetaMask whenever I need it. So if you do want to deposit ether from another exchange like Coinbase or what I'm going to show you with here is an app called Newton. This is a great app for Canadians. So if you're in Canada, check them out. I have included my affiliate link below. You'll get an extra $25 if you sign up and use that app for purchasing your cryptocurrencies. But okay, let's get back into it. So in order to add Ether into your MetaMask, you wanna go on to buy and down to directly deposit Ether. If you haven't done this before, you're gonna be opening up your app from your exchange and you're gonna need your address or your QR code to know where you're sending your funds. So let me show you what that looks like with Newton. So I'm gonna go and pull up Newton on my phone. And if I wanna send Ether to my MetaMask, I'm gonna click down here on the transfer button and I want to withdraw. And I'm going to withdraw crypto to wallet. And here I would choose how much Ethereum I want to withdraw. And then you can see here, transfer address. This is where I'm going to be sending that to. So I can either paste the address so I can take this address that I have here that I have brought up here within my MetaMask. I can take that and paste the address by choosing that option, or I can choose scan QR code. And then simply that brings up my camera. I can go and scan there. And once I've scanned that, it brings my transfer address for my MetaMask wallet into my app. It's right there. You want to double check that that is correct. You never want to type this out. You want to copy and paste it or use the QR code to make sure you don't have any mistakes because that is a long address of numbers and letters. And one little mistake means your coins are gone. So once you've done that, you're going to send the withdrawal request and it will go and be sent over to your MetaMask. Um, keep in mind that this can happen quickly. It might take a little while to transfer over to your MetaMask. So keep an eye on it, make sure it arrives, but don't freak out if it doesn't show up right away. It can be a good idea to test with a small amount before sending a large amount over just to make sure that it goes through. Because again, if you get it wrong, your coins are gone for good. Of course, if you want to send Ether or another currency over to another exchange or to a hardware wallet, the process looks very much the same except in reverse. So instead of clicking buy, we're going to go to send. And then here you would simply paste in the address of your wallet that you're sending it to or click and scan the QR code by clicking this button and then follow the same prompts, send and wait for your funds to arrive. One thing to remember when sending funds is that you'll need enough in your wallet to cover the amount you're sending plus the gas fees. So it's going to cost you a little bit or a lot, depending on what the gas fees are. They can get up to be very high. So sometimes it's worth waiting for gas fees to go down before you make any transfers. But of course, now that you have funds in your wallet, now it's time to play. Now it's time to decide what you're going to do with it. So now you can go and connect these wallets to various DeFi platforms. So the biggest decentralized exchange is, of course, Uniswap. And you can use this to trade your Ethereum for other currencies. Let's connect our wallet to Uniswap. So let's go to uniswap.org and we're going to launch the app. And you want to go and click here to connect the wallet select MetaMask. And since I have this already logged in, I have that wallet and that account selected. Go to next and connect. And it is as easy as that. So now my wallet is connected. I can choose to swap my Ethereum for another token that is offered here. So there's a lot to choose from and we're not going to get into that here, but that is how you would trade. Another thing you might want to do is to buy NFTs on OpenSea. And again, this works in a similar way. You don't have a login and password like a regular platform in the web 2.0 ecosystem, which is what we have now for most of the internet. You can go here and browse through NFTs. And if you find one that you want to buy, of course, again, we need to connect our wallet. So same process, we go here to my wallet, choose MetaMask, and of course, follow to go ahead and connect that wallet. Once you're connected, you'll be able to bid on NFTs 
or make an outright purchase with the funds in your MetaMask wallet if you do have enough. But of course, do your research, find NFTs that you like and have some fun with it. But that is it for this video. That is how you set up your MetaMask wallet and how you can connect it to various DeFi platforms to trade coins or buy NFTs. But if you need to purchase some Ethereum to go in your wallet in order to take part in all of these different DeFi marketplaces, then of course there are several places you can do that. If you're in Canada like I am, I highly recommend Newton as your app of choice for on-ramping any fiat currency into cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. You can use my referral link below to get an extra $25 added to your account when you sign up and fund your account with your first $100. And then once you've done that, you can, of course, transfer your Ethereum over to your MetaMask wallet so you can start using it in the DeFi spaces. But if you are in the USA or somewhere else in the world, then Coinbase is always a great option. It is one of the most popular cryptocurrency exchanges, and you can sign up for that again at the link in the description below, and you'll get an extra $10 added to your account when you sign up and fund your account with your first $100. But thank you guys so much for watching, for sticking it out until the end. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with a friend who could also benefit from this video. I truly appreciate all of your support. If there's something I missed talking about, leave me a comment below and we can discuss or I could even make a video on that topic in the future. Otherwise, if you're ready to learn more about cryptocurrency investing or even starting an online business, check out one of these videos next and I will see you guys next time.